Okay. Um, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my father again. How you uh, doing? We're continuing the Radiohead uh, album journey. Um, today, we're going with Kid A, as you can see from the title and in front of us here. Uh, thank you to Manuel Bavond. Uh, you got the top comment for uh, recommendations for this album. Um, it was between this and In Rainbows, but uh, more people were leaning towards Kid A just because it's the follow-up album after OK Computer, so it makes sense to uh, to go that way. It's been a wild journey so far, musically for me, um, mentally, emotionally, uh, reading all the comments. I'm staying up till all hours of the night, <laughs> reading all the comments and going through them all. Um, I take note of um, a couple of the comments saying my shorts were too short. <laughs> So I put on some long green pants so you don't see the old man junk hanging out the sides. Yeah. And um, and I'll tell you, I've had OK Computer on, Connor, and I can attest to that is I've had it on since we our last video. It's been on constantly on my headphones, doing yard work, working construction, doing all this kind of stuff, cooking. Absolutely love it. Absolutely know completely why it's such an epic album for so many people. It's become one for mine. I started to learn some of the guitar parts and hack yeah. away on them and uh it's just it was amazing it was an amazing time yeah that's why i'm really excited uh to move on to kid a because uh yeah it is i'm not gonna spoil anything but um it's a different type of album there's a lot of a lot of people say it's like a left turn in their discography um it's kind of where they shifted um into a different sound so you'll hear it um yeah, I mean, do you have any expectations going into this? Um, you know, I loved OK Computer so much, right? The fir first album I dug, but OK Computer just brought it to an absolutely new level. Melodically, lyrically, emotionally, everything was just damn cool <laughs> about that album. Like, it's so good, right? Mm. Um, so, no, I'm open for to hear what's up. Like, I don't know what to expect. Every, like I said, every, every song's a new turn. Yeah. Every, every chorus is a new turn. Every, every chord is a new turn. So when we're going from album to album right now, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> and I have done my best to stay away from everything possible, right? Yeah. In between these, so. Okay, so starting with track number one. Um... It's called Everything in Its Right Place. It's uh, I'm really into this mix. The mix is incredible. It's real, really good oral stimulation. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, <laughs> a drastic departure from what I was <laughs> on OK Computer, I noticed a whole bunch of things I wanted to say. The mix is there's a l so much going on in the mix. Uh, I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, but I, I don't hear a single analog instrument in terms of uh, acoustic guitars, bass, uh, piano. Um, I heard a lot of layering, a lot of vocal jobs, a lot of, a lot of vocals, a lot of uh, other synth stuff going on. Um, but I didn't hear anything. It's it, that was a tough one for me to. It, it was a tough one for me to get into, right right off the bat, right? Because mm -hmm. I heard that, meow, 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 that was going right, and then I figured that it would be something like what happened in OK Computer. We go into some cool guitar groove, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. And then get into that, but it just stayed that way the whole time, right? That mm -hmm. would be for me a really good just chilling if um, if I you know had a smoke the big. <laughs> had a big puff and then listen to that right yeah <laughs> we'll uh we'll move on to track number two 
Um, track number two is the title track of the album, Kid A. Really dig that. The groove? Yeah. And that on the, in the right ear here, the really melancholy childlike thing that started the beginning reminded me of another childlike piece in okay computer yeah yeah It must have been weird being a Radiohead fan at this time, and right after OK Computer, they come out with this. and it's like, what is going on? Yeah. When you play this for the first time. Did the album come out with a couple drops of acid? <laughs> yeah, in the packaging. In the packaging. track but uh that was weirdly trippy i tell you man <laughs> i don't know what to make of it there it's um i was checking when i talked about the acid i'm thinking maybe you dropped some in my tea <laughs> and it was just a totally totally normal song or something but yeah i heard a little bit of sounds like uh could have been analog regular drums in there at the end came right i think so yeah, yeah it came in they add a little bit of that but this is completely void of of instruments yeah like i'm ter- i mean like guitar guitars and, and i mean it can, yeah. like again acoustic instruments bass and all that kind of stuff i think i heard a little bit of electric bass in there what a jump anyway we'll move on to no, uh, track number three it's called the uh the national anthem mm-hmm. um it's not the actual national anthem <laughs> Okay, this sounds more like okay computer yeah it's got it yeah oh, I love that had all yeah. that that thing this is really cool I love how he, they push the time before the vocals come in yeah yeah it's not at the 30 second mark or anything wow what was And listen to all the te- textures of stuff that's going on in the background. Yeah. I think he's really gated. Yeah. The vocal gate. I really like this track. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's... I did not expect that. (laughs) That's fantastic, man. I know, it's wicked. That constant of the bass, it's just like right through, it's rock solid. The guy doesn't move, it's just like, and then you you have all this chaos and this, it's, yeah, this, it's this, like the one thing that keeps it yes, kind of yeah. together, right? Yeah. Okay, thoughts on that was, <laughs> wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I, you know, I have to say one thing right now, and I just want to say to, to out to all the people over the years, when I was younger, as your age, and I was going to, songwriting competitions and submitting songs and then they'd have a jury and they'd come and talk to me out Mm -hmm. loud and they'd say you know you waited too long to get to your vocals it should be under 30 seconds to introduce you know what i want to say f you to all you guys (laughs) because listen to what these guys are doing i don't know that must have been a what a minute before anything or longer like a minute and 40 seconds yeah before before anything was introduced right 
and then just breaking the walls down, just bringing in horns like that. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like a raging elephant there, man. Right, With I the know. constant of the bass, it was just like... There's a certain point where you get lost in that song because there's so much going on at once. Yeah. Uh, the horns are insane. There's the bass that, like we were boom, saying, boom, 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 the bass kind of yeah. keeps it grounded. Okay, track number four is called How to Disappear Completely. I think I hear some guitars. Yeah. I float down the left in a little world. I got a little shiver there. Oh, and the drums getting me. Yeah. Great end. This is very hypnotic. And just what they're doing with the strings, the minor notes, and I love that sweeping that that keeps coming through. Yeah, and that's. Wow, love that track, man. Um, I have to say, I don't know what everybody else is interpreting this track, or what you have, or anybody else's, but it, it's it's it just that 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 going through there. And and did you have you read? The, are you familiar with the lyrics? Yeah, about? yeah that's yeah. one of my favorite radio um, songs. Is he a ghost in this? I don't know if he's a. I don't know what what the perspective. Oh, is, okay, no, because I'm just I walk I walk through. Um, that there, that's not me. I go where I please. I walk through walls. I float down the Liffey. I'm not here. In a little, and in, in, I'm not here. I'm not here. In a little while, I'll be gone. The moments pass. It just seemed to me like the way it was singing. It was like, and everybody, we all think of death, right? Mm -hmm. And I always, and and you know, as you get older, I'm always thinking, my God, when you know, When's what's what's going to happen? No yeah. more. What's going to happen when I'm not here? Oh yeah. And then in this chunk here, right where I walk through walls and I'm not here and all that kind of thing. I just had this really sad feeling and then of of that I'm not here and I'm walking through walls and I'm sort of like it, I'm coming to the realization realization that like I'm not here. Yeah. Right? I can still see you guys doing your stuff, right? Maybe I'm too deep into this and you did drop something in my tea, but <laughs> uh, that was a beautiful beautiful track. That's be one my favorite so far. Oh, even more than the national anthem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. That's when it, when it hits me like that is, and then the combination of the analog. Uh, there's, I keep saying analog drums, regular drums, um, and maybe they, they're a sample. I don't know, but it sounds like regular drums. Yeah. Um, and then that the, the key, and then the just the squiggles in the ears, the the minor chords, the symphonic, the way that the, and you know what? It, every they throw. One thing I've learned about radio is they throw everything out the window. Everything that's conventional yeah. is like sort of like. You know what? We're gonna do this and do that. I would have, you know, it would be easily just to go, and then put strings so that they float exactly in the same yeah. pattern and then the same chord structure. Yeah. But they're going minors and then yeah. diminished chords and then, but it works. It does. Yeah. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just like it works, and you go, "Fuck! Why didn't I ever do this in my life? <laughs> yeah. Why am I? Why did I? You know, push the boundaries." And that's a great track. Um, track number five, uh, it doesn't have lyrics. Oh, okay. Uh, so you don't need to grab that. Okay. Uh, it's called Tree Fingers. See, your, your mother does not like this music. Mm -hmm. And I've told you, I love it. And I'll... You like ambient? Type I just stuff? like, I like ambient stuff that's really, really out of this weird. And then even just playing in the house and then mom comes in, shuts it off and puts on Jack and Diane by John Cougar. Yeah, no, I, I love ambient music because it kind of takes you out of this world and puts you in this you can really picture some type of space i don't know how to explain it but and I, you know for me it also takes it, it voids out a, like some people would have start thinking more and worrying more and stressing more by ha mm -hmm. have, like having all that open space and not listening to lyrics and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. 
But I, I somehow, when you play that, I just, I'm void of all that. I don't know where I go. It's just, I just sort of go into that. Yeah. I worry less. And but anyway, we'll go to track number six, which is called uh, Optimistic. I like the groove on this one right away. Yeah. There's guitar on this one, so. The drums are very cool, too. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, Fleetwood Mac Tusk, the drums. Mm-hmm. I like that left ear. <laughs> yeah. The. Okay, what was the ending? What was going on there? I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> That's just part of the song. Wow. It sounded like they left the tape going, and then they jammed a little after or something. What do you make of that song? Um, I like it. First of all, I like the drum groove. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the, everything going on was neat. And again, this one, I got really deep into the lyrics here and started to decipher it and trying to, to make sense of it. And, and again, back, I keep going back so many times, is that it's, I feel like I'm really missing something lyrically and we've spoke about this is that it's very it's up to interpretation it's not sort of cut and dry and, and again I've been used to cut and dry vocals this is the way it is this is what you're hearing uh, this is a, right now a book I'm reading there's living on an animal farm and the, it's called animal farm so I don't know if this has to do something with this or um, good track really good track it was neat it was the you know it sort it, it freaked me out at the ending because I didn't <laughs> I didn't know it was exactly what was going on but yeah. uh but they, you know what? They're always surprising me with all these songs, right? I do have my favorites. Like everybody has their favorites and ones. And yeah. um, and the, the, like right now, the last one was my favorite. This one was great. This album uh, had to grow on me it, over time. Uh, like first listen to mm-hmm. this album, I was very confused. Uh, not con- well, confused, but just like it was a lot of different sounds that I wasn't completely familiar mm-hmm. with. So... Um, took me a while to to really get into this album it's track eight or seven something like that um this one is called in limbo wow everything's to the right yeah the timing of that run is yeah just off just a little late just like a half second. Yeah. The song is very open and spacious. It's hugely spacious. That ride symbol is just creating. <laughs> you sure you didn't drop something in my tea? No. Through all that whole thing there. We went from the elephants and the horns and all that kind of stuff. It's a trip. Man. This album is a, it's a weird trip. You know, I'll, I'll tell you that, um, the, I think I just said, well, the timing is that just, it, they're, he's just a little late on the guitar. And I've played with guys like that where, I've, where now I'm maybe realizing that they're really brilliant or something. Or because, they come in late. Well, they're coming late, and it would just kept driving me nuts. I'm like, no, you got to come in, come on, come in on the one, and then be like, <laughs> and then I'd be shitting on them, right? Yeah. But I realize that maybe they're the real, yeah, the real deals here, right? I I don't know where this journey is going. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what the backstory is with so. Um, and you're not going to tell me anything, uh, and I'm going to sort of like, you know, till we listen to the whole album or whatever, and, and we can dive into it somehow together. Yeah. And um, exactly. and talk about it. But uh, 
it's a trip, man. I just, it's a, from what I'm sort of piecing in here together is that we were at OK Computer and there was a bunch of technology mm -hmm. and there's way more technology on this and there's less, and I don't know if there's any correlation or not, but there's less, there's less, there was some horns in here, but other than that, there's some, you know what I mean? There's yeah, it's not as, it's not very guitar driven. No, completely. No, no, not at all. Anyway, we'll move on to the next track. It's called Idiotech. Oh, very reverby. Yeah. Electronic kit. Makes me want to do this. Wow. <laughs> Love that the chorus. Yeah. The drum groove is just so. Oh, <laughs> they changed the sound here, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. See, there's all those well thought out little things. Yeah, like this coming in. Yeah. There, right? Here's the shaker. Here. Yeah, shaker in there. Little egg going. Might not be an egg. <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. This is cool groove. I'll uh, stop it here because it does go into. Oh, that was song. that was wow. That was a trippy song again. <laughs> you know what I was going to say at the beginning? You know what it reminded me of? Like when that that whole intro there. Mm -hmm. Um bunch of the stuff that I grew up listening to when I was much younger was uh, like um, Depeche Mode and stuff that when it was when guys started programming really yeah. for the first time that whole that beginning there reminded me of all that the infancy of like program drums and mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, Moog synthesizers all that right yeah so that was that was that was that was a treat man you like his vocal performance I like his one? vocal performance you know what it's um it's a treat to hear him do like I like I really really like you know the way he um I, I keep, I'm forgetting I gotta apologize I'm forgetting the songs um the one that he sang on the on OK Computer where he elongated the notes and I just thought it was oh the last song right yeah yeah the tourist yeah the tourist I thought it was just absolutely beautiful and I could listen to him do all that like till the cows come home but this is cool because it's just something so different I admire these guys now it's um for you know and then at the ending there there was just so many so many little things i had again i had to smile because i can picture producing that and having headphones on and you create that like there was yeah. so much his vocals were over here there was that little the little squiggle then this was jangling over here and then you had everything else in the background it was all perfectly syncopated you know th there's in the comments there you guys have put a ton of albums and i can't tell you how how stoked i am to go through these because um i don't know what's I'm not, it's something I would never just go out and grab. I'm not one of those guys, right? Yeah. To, I just sort of listen to what's on my Spotify and that kind of stuff. But yeah. some of this stuff that I've been reading, the, the, just the names, it's like, I've, I have I have no clue who they are. Don't even know what genre. I don't even know what genre it is. So it's, it's going to be really interesting because it's definitely, I'll tell you this ride so far over these few albums here has changed me musically. Yeah. Like I, I, like I, I feel bad not feel bad, but I feel out of place playing something so conventional now because I want to try something out of the out of that box, right? Yeah. We'll go to the next track, which is the second last one. Um, it's called Morning Bell.
Okay, so that is the second last track, Morning Bell. It's an interesting one. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Lyrically, I'm trying to make sense of what's going on, but I'm learning now not to. Yeah. Just okay. feel it, feel the groove, enjoy the, enjoy the track. Yeah, you don't have to f- dissect every no, lyric. No, I realize that. And just, you know, it's it's art, it's music, and it's mm-hmm. beautiful. And it just, you know, everybody sees the painting different, right? Exactly. Right, yeah. so, um, but I, kudos if the drummer did play that song through its entirety because no. he's, <laughs> like, he's, he's probably got a click track and he was totally spent after the end of doing yeah. that the whole time, right? But right off the bat, the timing of, um, I would never try something like that ever like just the timing of how, how the drums come in on the off time and i don't know if it's where the what the technical my drummer guy would know he would say it's five four or whatever yeah three eight something like five that. eight yeah. i don't know whatever right? he counts that stuff um but i would never ever try that and then and the way the bass came in over top of it and it was off time boom yeah boom, it's just really really cool this one is what's the name of it uh, motion picture soundtrack motion picture i'll just i'll tell you before we even get into it the lyrics remind me of a trip that your mom and i took to a motel about i don't know three weeks ago so <laughs> <laughs> did you want to read the lyrics i don't want to read the lyrics anymore because <laughs> i know the lyrics to this so <laughs> red wine and sleeping pills yeah cheap sex I think I can hear foot pedals from the organ. I can, yeah. right? In the left ear. Yeah. get me down too as well yeah it's it's pretty sad that was a beautiful line yeah wow the way it comes in really quick uh, just the way he said I'd see you and the, the, the phrasing was just something else I you know what this is there was the one song back on OK Computer I got it very emotional on where it was uh, I actually um, no I, surprises no surprises yeah um, this gave me a sort of the same feel this, uh, in terms of like um, in terms of my life, it's weird. I keep yeah. going back to that, but it, I, I know there was there was there's no red wine, no sleeping pills. Um, there's a little bit of cheap. Sex. There's a little bit of cheap <laughs> sex and porno <laughs> films, not sad <laughs> films, but um, it just it, that song that song is really uh, really got a sad feeling to it. And that last line you said the the delivery on that you just the that? the phrasing on the delivery. Um, man, if we, if we could hear that again. Uh, I will see you in the next life. The way he phrases it was just unexpected. Yeah. Like it was like, he, the, I, can't, I can't do it, but the way he just hit it was just like, wow, man. It just, yeah. You know, you look at this and there's, um, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, uh, 14 lines in mm-hmm. this song. It seems way, way more. Yeah. And, and some of the songs that have 45 lines seem shorter, shorter, but this one just, the way it's constructed and and what it says in in the lyrics and makes you feel, man, it's it's fourteen lines. Yeah, as a whole for this album. Thoughts. Ups, I'll tell you, it's up ups and downs and ups and downs. Um, crazy surprises. Every door had a different thing. Yeah. From from the horns, the way things, the the vocoders. I think it might be called a vocoder. Um, and then to really like a melodic thing like this from some of the some of the earlier. The stuff at the beginning. Um, I think that's it for today. Yeah, and thank you again for all the comments and uh, 
and uh, keeping us entertained. Uh, almost at a thousand subscribers, which is insane. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, also, you as you can see, we're in high definition now, uh, not using the shitty webcam. Uh, so yeah, look forward to better quality videos. We got a good or better setup now. Um, and hopefully more often, uh, you know, at least once a week minimum. So uh, thank you guys for watching and, uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like all that fun stuff. And, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Take care and be safe. Peace. See ya.